There are new and advanced U.S. military aircraft today, and some more advanced ones are coming in the near future. But what are some of the longest-serving or the oldest military aircraft today which are still in service with the United States? While there is some debate over what constitutes the oldest and what can be considered still in service, the following 10 aircraft tops the list of the longest-serving U.S. military aircraft. The 10th oldest U.S. military aircraft still in service today is the Cessna T-41. This is a military version of the popular Cessna 172. Operated by the United States Air Force and Army that entered service in 1964. It was fitted with a larger engine and a variable pitch propeller. Many countries operate the T-41 such as Angola, Argentina, Uruguay, Turkey and many more. Some still operate today, though their numbers have dwindled considerably over the passing decades. At number 9 is the Northrop F-5. The F-5 is a supersonic fighter that entered service in 1962 and is agile, highly maneuverable and reliable. The F-5 was developed in response to a request from the U.S. Navy in 1950s for a tiny, light, jet-powered fighter to operate from the decks of its escort carriers. More than 3,800 F-5s and the closely related T-38 advanced trainer aircraft were produced. The F-5 and F variants are in service with the United States Navy and the United States Marine Corps as adversary trainers. As of 2021, there were around 400 aircraft in service. The eighth oldest U.S. military aircraft that are still in service today is the McDonnell Douglas F-4 Phantom II. This long-range supersonic interceptor aircraft was first deployed by the U.S. Navy in 1961 before it was adopted by the U.S. Marine Corps and the U.S. Air Force by the mid-1960s. With 5,195 aircraft built between 1958 and 1981, the Phantom is the most produced American supersonic military aircraft in history. The F-4 Phantom II remains in active service with the air forces of Iran, South Korea, Greece and Turkey as of 2021, 64 years after its first flight. Number 7 on the list for the top 10 oldest U.S. military aircraft in service today is the Northrop T-38 Talon. This is a twin-engine, high-altitude supersonic jet trainer that entered service in 1961. It was the world's first and the most produced supersonic trainer, and since its introduction it has been utilized for advanced pilot training, allowing students to learn supersonic skills, aerobatics, night and instrument flying, and cross-country navigation. The T-38 has been in service with its original operator, the United States Air Force, for over 50 years as of 2020. Number 6 is the Boeing RC-135. This is a four-engine reconnaissance aircraft used by the U.S. Air Force since 1961. The Air Force has the capability to conduct intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance missions. There are many variants of the RC-135. The latest variant is the RC-135W. On 19th March 2010, the UK Ministry of Defense procured three RC-135W Rivet Joint Reconnaissance aircraft along with the associated ground systems to execute signal intelligence missions for the RAF. The first deliveries were made in November 2013 and the last ones were made in June 2017. In February 2018, the plane was completely operational. Number 5 on the list for the top 10 oldest U.S. military aircraft in service today is the Bell UH-1. This is a utility military helicopter. It was first developed by Bell Helicopter to meet a 1952 U.S. Army requirement for a medical evacuation and utility helicopter, and it entered service in 1959. The UH-1 was the first turbine-powered helicopter produced for the United States military and more than 16,000 have been built since 1960. The UH-1 first saw service in combat operations during the Vietnam War, with around 7,000 helicopters deployed. The fourth oldest U.S. military aircraft still in use today is the Boeing KC-135 Stratotanker. 
This is a military aerial refueling aircraft that entered service in 1957 and is still in service today. The KC-135 is also capable of transporting litter and ambulatory patients using patient support pallets during aeromedical evacuations. It is one of nine military fixed-wing aircraft that have been in continuous service with its original operator for more than 60 years. Studies have concluded that many of the aircraft could have flown until 2030, although maintenance costs have greatly increased. At number 3, we have the Lockheed C-130 Hercules. It entered service with the U.S. in 1956. The C-130 is well known for its global support of tactical airlift, search and rescue, special operations, commercial and refueling missions. In 2007, the C-130 became the fifth aircraft to mark 50 years of continuous service with its original primary customer, which for the C-130 is the United States Air Force. With its modified Lockheed Martin C-130J Super Hercules now in production, the C-130 Hercules has been continually produced for nearly 60 years. The second oldest U.S. military aircraft still in use today is the Lockheed U-2. During the Cold War, this high-altitude reconnaissance aircraft flew over the Soviet Union, China, Vietnam and Cuba. U-2s have participated in post-Cold War hostilities in Afghanistan and Iraq as well as other multinational NATO missions. It is one of just a few aircraft types to have served the USAF for more than 50 years. The most recent variant, the U-2S, had a technical upgrade in 2012. The oldest U.S. military aircraft still in use today is the Boeing B-52 Stratofortress. It has been operated by the United States Air Force since 1955. There are 76 aircraft in inventory as of June 2019, with 58 operated by active forces, 18 by reserve forces, and approximately 12 in long-term storage at the Davis-Monthan AFB Boneyard. They are still in operation today due to their superior performance at high subsonic speeds and comparatively low operating costs. The B-52 completed 60 years of continuous service with its original operator in 2015, and after being upgraded between 2013 and 2015, the last airplanes are expected to serve into the 2050s. With this, the buzz is signing off for today. We hope you've enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to hit that notification and subscribe button for more videos from the buzz.